Hey, and welcome back. Today is week one of our decluttering bootcamp. Are you ready? Have you stretched a little bit? It's time to actually take action on our space. So you can have a home that feels effortless to maintain and one that you could be proud of. So this week we're starting small. We're starting with what I call trash bag therapy. But here's the thing. I don't want you to just passively watch this video. I want you to watch it through once and then watch it again and pause it on every step get up, grab a bag, and actually do the work. Do the steps along with me as your coach. It's gonna make a big difference having someone with you to push you each step of the way. The first thing we're gonna start with are filled coloring books and filled notebooks. Even if they're three quarters filled, if they're old, you're not using them. No kid wants to color in a coloring book that's already all scribbled all over, and you're not going to be taking notes in a notebook that's years old. I'm giving you permission, grab a bag and put old coloring books and notebooks in it right now. My kids just aren't into coloring anymore, and so I'm gonna donate this and pass it on to someone who will love and use it. The second thing we're letting go of is socks without mates. You probably have them maybe in a drawer, I hope they're not in your drawer, or in the bottom of a laundry basket or a bag. I have a lot of these, and I'm gonna tell you the truth, I always have the best intentions of pairing them up, and even when I do that, there's always so many leftovers that still don't have a mate. It adds up to a lot of headache, stress. I look at that and I feel like I should be doing better. Look at all these wasted socks, and what I end up doing is just buying new socks. All of these need to leave my home. They're trash. No, you're not gonna use them for cleaning or rags or something else. You're gonna gather them up and put them in a bag and they are going no regrets. Why are they still in my house? I have no babies. All right, I'm just, goodbye, random socks. No regret, you're leaving. The third thing is food storage containers that don't have a lid or random lids. We're not turning these random storage containers into drawer dividers, they're leaving. They're leaving because it's all these good intentions. Maybe I'll find the lid one day. I want you to take time today to try to match them up. If they don't have a matching lid or bottom, they're going in the trash. End stop. My husband has an obnoxious obsession with saving all, of this is trash. We have food storage containers. Why does he insist on washing all of these and save, what are we, what, no. Sorry, Joe, sorry, Joe, this is garbage. These empty containers, we don't store trash in our house. Goodbye. Number four is samples, and I want to include like random condiments from fast food in here. All those little ketchup packages, those little barbecue things. Maybe you have forks and knives that are in the plastic sleeves. No, the answer is no. Those don't even have expiry dates on them. How old is that ketchup? You have a bottle of ketchup. We're letting go of all the random condiment packs, all the samples, all the little things you've got from hotels, all the extra little soaps and wrappers that you'll never use. There, say, just say, just say, Goodbye, it's trash. Seriously, Joe also has a problem with this. He's really upset, but this honey mustard, which apparently is precious to him, has no expiry date on it. It could be 100 years old, you don't know. It could be totally, to it's going, it's going. He's like, not my hot sauce. Joe, you have a jar of hot sauce. It's going, goodbye. The fifth thing that's leaving your house today is expired medication. Whether it's medication from the pharmacy or it's things like Advil, aspirin, allergy medication, if it's expired, it's leaving your house. Take a few seconds to go through your bathroom cabinets or your hall closet and trash all of that stuff. You can drop them off at your local pharmacy and they'll recycle it for you, but it definitely doesn't belong in your house anymore. 2018, oh. Shame, Cass. Okay, I'm nervous about number six, but you know I'm really passionate about this. Greeting cards. If somebody has sent you birthday, Christmas, Valentine's Day cards, and they haven't taken the time to do a handwritten note inside, 
It is absolute trash. Do not feel obligated to keep these things in your home. Even if you have friends and family who have sent you Christmas cards with pictures on them, which I do every year, I'm giving you permission to let them go. As somebody who sends them out during the holidays, I don't expect you to keep them. This is just me letting you know that I'm thinking of you and you have permission afterwards to recycle them and let them go. It adds up to a lot of clutter and it's guilty clutter, but the truth is these things are trash. So my kids just had a birthday and they displayed their cards on their desk, but now, I mean, it's been a couple of weeks. It's time to just let all of these go. Number seven is old calendars or old planners. Planners from years ago, calendars from years ago. Why are we holding on to these? We think, oh, it's the memories, or I'm gonna transfer information over, and yet we never do that. We never look at them, and it's just, clutter, it's silent to-do list, it's trash in your home that's telling you, oh, I need to get to this very unimportant thing, and it's taking away from the things you should be doing today. So no more. Put them in the bag, recycle those things, and move on. So I've been pretty good at decluttering old planners, but I had a lot of these like little journals that I got, you know, like the Wreck-It journal, and this is like another cute little, I've never used these. This is another example, it's like a little planner. I've, I've just, I've never used them, so these are going. Number eight is unidentified frozen food in your freezer. <laughs> if you don't know if it's fish or pork chops, it should probably go. If you have like a box of chicken nuggets with like one freezer burnt one in the bottom, why are we keeping this? It feels wrong sometimes to throw out food, but the truth is if it has freezer burnt on it or you have no idea what it is or how long it's been in your freezer, it's trash. Nothing is worse than going to the grocery store, coming back and then having the receipt, the receipt from anything that we're not going to return. Nobody's returning milk from the grocery store, but why do we have so many of these receipts in drawers, shoved just here, there and everywhere? Do a sweep of your home and just unburden yourself from all these scraps of paper that add up to a lot of unwanted clutter, it's definitely trash and it's time to go. All from one purse. All trash. And number 10, the last thing is dead pens. I have a tendency to play pen roulette in my junk drawer and my kids do this with markers too. So any dead pens, dead markers, they just, they're really stealing a lot of your time because if you're taking something out, you're trying to write when it doesn't work, why do we toss it back in the drawer? I have no idea why we do this, but it's actually adding up to a lot of wasted time and wasted space. So dried out markers, broken crayons, and dead pens are leaving your house today. Even though I declutter all the time, I found an entire garbage bag of actual trash in my house. I'm feeling excited. I hope you are too. Watch this again. Pause it on each step. Grab a trash bag and fill it today. Don't forget that this complete list is in your ebook. I'm going to put the link to that free decluttering bootcamp ebook down below so you can follow along. And I want you to make time for this this week. You have all week to do this list. I want you to start slow. That's what trash bag therapy is all about. That's what we call this starting with trash because it isn't sentimental stuff. It isn't emotional things. These are easy things that you can let go of and it's going to get you ready for every week where we're going to go a little bit harder when it comes to pushing you out of your comfort zone and taking back your house. So grab a trash bag and dive in. I'm going to see you guys right back here next week for week two of our boot camp where we take it up a notch and we push ourselves a little bit harder and get rid of even more. I'll see you then. Thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. So I'm going to throw Joe under the bus a little bit. He doesn't want to be on camera, but he's helping me out today. And he was having a hard time while I was getting rid of like samples, his precious honey mustard sauce, those plastic containers that are trash that yogurt comes in that he wants to save. But he comes by this honestly because his family is, they're, they're thrifty and they're savers and they're farmers especially his grandparents, and so nothing goes to waste. Literally nothing. You're driving down the road, you see a turtle that's been run over, that's turtle soup, friends. Squirrel caught in a trap, that's an appetizer. 
He's making a face over there, but I kid you not, they call it wild game. But I am a person who just doesn't, I'm not adventurous with my dinner, but every Christmas dinner, it's like roulette of what animal we're having. We've had beaver, porcupine. We've had, it wasn't porcupine. We've had frog legs for Christmas dinner. Okay, Chris, Christmas, it's the clampets, all right. We've had, um, We've had muskrat, we've had bear, we've had uh, goose, which is, I, I mean, I guess that's what we've had rabbit. We've, if it's a rodent that lives outside, we've eaten it at Christmas dinner is all I'm saying. And it's amazing and they cook it well and they, if it's really gross, like, okay, we went fishing. Listen, we went fishing, we were catching junk fish, sheephead, catfish, nothing goes back. Everything is food. And so they smoke it and, and it's just, it's good. It's good. Is it good? Nothing has been hit by a car, I promise. Nothing's been hit by a car? Nothing Are you sure? Are you sure? Joe says nothing's been hit by a car. I don't believe him. I think I've eaten roadkill at his grandparents' house. I'm 100% positive I have. And it's fine. I mean, good for them. It's good. It's admirable, honestly. They, they, they don't waste anything. Even if it's on your plate and you're eating chicken and you're full and there's meat left on the bone, grandpa has got that. That's okay. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> he does. You know he does. He's literally eating my leftovers. I don't mean to make fun of Joe's grandparents. I love Joey's grandparents so much. Like absolutely adore them. But let me know if you also were raised in a family where nothing goes to waste. And if it's impacting you today, if it sort of had, you hear them, you know, like the little, the little, don't get rid of anything on your shoulder. That is definitely what Joe hears every time I'm like, that's trash, dude. He hears his grandparents on his shoulder saying, you could do something with that. Let me know in the comments below if you can relate and I'll see you guys next time.